Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of very noisy, very obnoxious brontosauruses, brontosauri, stomping around our base. <laughs> um, in the last episode, we tried to get a bridge built. We failed mostly due to their inconvenient um, destroying of my base. <laughs> I may have, I may be slightly to blame here. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I think I made the right decision. <laughs> uh, anyway. They're, they're back, though. They're standing on my house, literally stomping on my house. There's so much island around, it could go anywhere, but no, they sit on my house. <laughs> However, something else I need to do is replace my packs, my, my, my pack ankylosaurus. <laughs> um, I need to get a Wilhelm Bjerknes number two, and this guy seems to be a perfectly good solution to my problem. So, let's see if we can get this guy down, and then, I guess, let's name the Parasaur. Uh, what, what are we gonna name you? Let's see, it's a, it's a female. Mm, Eva Silverstein. There we go. Obviously, a poet. <laughs> uh, no, no, it's, it's not Shell Silverstein, it's Ava Silverstein. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, named, named, named that thing. Now it's a, now it's got a name. <laughs> I'm not going to name you until you have a saddle. I don't want to get attached before uh, <laughs> before you're useful even. Dorothy Hodgkin, and there we go. Naming naming done. My my right my my uh, duties as a pet owner, varmint wrangler, have been uh, fulfilled. Ha! <laughs> Crafting the ankylos uh, saddle now. So. Uh, sorry about that last clip. <laughs> I forgot to uh, I forgot to artificially limit the frame rate of of arc to um, 35 or sorry sorry to 30 frames per second, um, and that meant OBS freaked out because it didn't have the resources it needed, and so the clip was really laggy. So sorry about that. Um, Wilhelm, sorry, not capitalized. Wilhelm Bjergnes the <laughs> second. This way we can sort of keep track of how many uh, how many dinos we kill. <laughs> not sure I want to keep track of that, but oh uh, well, we'll have to do it. Have to do it anyway. All right, now we can finally ride these uh, these things too. Wil Wilhelm Bjergnes's. <laughs> Turns out this guy is a better uh, pack dino than Wilhelm uh, anyway, so apparently we're using him. <laughs> anyway, we uh, hopefully have enough to be getting on with at the moment, so I'm going to try and do a little bit of building. Uh, I'll take, let's see, I'll take some of the building materials at a time because I don't have a huge amount of weight myself. Well, actually, let me just see. Can I just take it all? Nice. <laughs> apparently I do have a, a huge amount of weight myself. <laughs> Capacity. I'm not that weighty. <laughs> All right. So, if we uh, if we build off this this um, pillar, I believe there is a certain number of blocks we can build. Uh, I don't know how many that is. There we go. Re requires nearby foundation support, and then it has to be touching the ground. I assume for it to work. Can we build it a little bit more efficiently than that? Doesn't look like it. Okay. <laughs> so that, it seems, is how things are going to work. And now we can now we can keep building. Hmm. Hey, don't push me off. <laughs> no, no, he did it. What a guy. All right. Um. <laughs> I'm quickly realizing just how little this, uh, or just just how large this gap is, even though it is the smallest. All right, and you can stay put there for the moment. Well, maybe I don't want you to drown. Okay, come on. <laughs> I I don't know. Maybe he's smart enough not to drown, but I don't I don't really trust him. Plus, he's carrying my stuff. So, anyway, this is uh this is how far we've gotten. We do have more of these uh more of these little ceiling things. That's not really the issue. Uh, turns out the issue is <laughs> that it requires an awful lot of uh, supports per per block placed. You have to build down a lot to go over a little. Um, and it isn't the deepest water here. 
which is why this is feasible at all, but it is kind of deep, and we're going to require a lot more a lot more of these supports. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I've got some mining to do, and I will grab my other uh, other pack dinos from all around. We will we will work together in a monumental effort, and we will hopefully get enough uh, enough of these platforms down. Now, where did Wilhelm Bjergnes go? <laughs> Just started raining, and something weird has happened to the water here. <laughs> um, seems to be fine, I can still swim in it, but I think probably I shouldn't. <laughs> probably unsafe, lots of bacteria in it or something. Bah, so close, so close. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. we finally finished it, we finally fi finally finished the bridge that will truck all our landlubbers across the, uh, across the vast ocean. And to celebrate, <laughs> I, I have gained a lot of levels, so I, I actually made the Tranodon sal saddle. Lots of Ankylosauruses had to die for the keratin. <laughs> um, let's, let's boost his melee damage and his weight. Actually, he might not be able to hold me. Hold on, I just want to, I just want to uh, show you all the bridge from the air. Yeah, I don't think he'll be able to hold me. <laughs> uh, okay, let's let's dump some of this junk. Maybe that too. Now I think he'll be able to hold me. <laughs> just barely. Okay. <laughs> all right. Now, what do we get rid of? I guess the metal is the obvious thing. But I don't actually want to get rid of the metal because metal is valuable. All right, that that's good enough. <laughs> Our first flyer. It's a an awesome blue pteranodon. We'll have to give this guy a name. I uh, I've got a bunch of names lined up for use. There we go. That's the bridge. <laughs> I also have a raptor saddle. So next. Uh, Next episode, we'll be playing around with a lot of taming, I think, because I ha I've unlocked so many saddles just from mining all the rocks and making all the building blocks for this, um, that it would be a shame not to use them. <laughs> oh, can we can we fly underneath the bridge? Ah, can't go underwater. Kicked me off. <laughs> Come back. Come back. Yeah. No. Get over here. <laughs> Get over here, you varmint. There we go. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> you drifted... Drifted too close. Nope. Get fired, I'll get out of the water. <laughs> he keeps uh, drifting drifting down towards the water. I get on him, and then he touches the water, and, I have, and I'm forced off again. Alright. Let me on. There we go. There's probably uh, an easy... An easy fly key. An easy fly up key. Anyway... We have our bridge. <laughs> it's actually pretty good looking, and I should show it to you underwater if I can remember remember what the uh, ah forget it. He'll just hover. <laughs> Not gonna bother landing him. Anyway, that that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? <laughs> A lot of rocks had to die for that bridge too, just like the uh, ankylosauruses. <laughs> anyway, that I think will be it for today. Get over here, bub. <laughs> no. Uh, what a guy. Darn it. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. <laughs> if I could ever get out of this puddle, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and bye-bye.